Hey guys, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about my Xavier Roberts slash Cabbage Patch plush. This is not going to be um, like Cabbage Patch dolls or Kusas. This is going to be plushies, um, mostly dogs and cats and horses. So let's jump right into it. The first ones that I want to show you are my 80s Cabbage Patch ponies. These are the show ponies from 1984. And they usually came with like a little saddle that has like a little kid on it, a little Cabbage Patch kid. Just a show pony. It has these little like reins. Um, this one has gray hair and white, but they did come in like a bunch of different colors. I think they're really cute. Um, sometimes they came with like a kid, I think. Um, but I know the box looked like a stable. If I can find a picture of the box, I'll insert it so you can see. It's really cute. And I also have the white one. Um, and she doesn't have her saddle or anything, but I still love her and I still think she's really cute. I wouldn't mind having more. These are, the 80s ponies are my favorite ponies for Cabbage Patch. Pony who's a play along pony from 2005, because in 2005 is when they had the rights to Cabbage Patch. Um, her tail is still like sewn right there. Um, she was definitely a thrift find for me, um, but back like a long time ago. And she's very soft. She's much softer than like these ponies. The po these ponies are really like solid and heavy. She's more squishy and soft. And they did make a ton of other ponies like this. But look at her little like lashes. She's so cute. I'll show you these two side by side. This one's much larger I think. But yeah, this is the play along from 2005, and this is the 84 by um, Coleco. So there is ponies, there's other ponies um, that are like the Crimp and Curl pony from Hasbro. Um, I actually have one over here. Only because it's close by, I'll get it. But I'm not talking about these ones today because they're plastic as well as like the Magic Meadow Ponies. I do eventually want to get a bunch of Magic Meadow Ponies. Um, and once I have a larger collection, I'll do a video on that because I want to be able to like talk about the different types because there's tons and tons of Magic Meadow Ponies. I actually have a Magic Meadow Pony that was a gift from Gayla. So thanks so much, Gayla. I love her. She's so beautiful. But yeah, that's all of the horse plush next let's do i only have one bunny bee so let's do her um here's my bunny bee she's pink i don't know if she's supposed to have like wings i just realized that maybe mine doesn't have wings but i feel like it's probably supposed to but they have these little antenna and the bunny bees were the ones who would like sprinkle all of the magic crystals over the Cabbage Patch Kids and make them turn into babies, I guess. Um, it says 1985, I think. Here's the tag. Now, I know that these are still being made. And there is a um, blue variant as well. And I would like to get that one to you. But the eyes are made like the um, like the 80s soft sculpture eyes. This one's so cute. So yeah, this is a bunny bee. Some Cabbage Patch lore for you. Also have... Let's do the patch pups. So I have this patch pup. These were also made by Play Along in 2005. This is my brown patch pup, and their face is sculpted, and it's very reminiscent of those, like, earlier 80s soft sculptures done. Um, and you'll see it has a little collar that says CPK. So cute. He has his little tongue sticking out. Yeah, so 2005 play along, and recently I found the pink one, and I found her for a really good deal. She came recently. Um, she is so cute. 
like look at her the pink one is the most difficult one to find oh my gosh and I've wanted her for a long time I don't know if she has like no she doesn't have it but he he has like the little leash attachment and she does it but yeah those are patch pups and then I think all that's left is my um fur skin collection now I'm not a very like knowledgeable Oh, actually there's more that's not just my fur skins. I just found them behind me. I'm not a very knowledgeable fur skin collector, so I can't tell you their original names because they're not in their original... Oh, where are my little guys? They're not in their original clothing anymore, so it's hard for me to tell you who they were, but there are people out there who can tell you who they were. So I have this guy. He's just dressed in my um, kids' old clothes. So we have some jeans here and a little t-shirt. And he is such a big guy. Um, there is like such a big world of fur skins out there. Like I need to learn more about it. But there are so many. And there's so many different sizes. From like the little Wendy's Happy Meal ones all the way up to this guy. Which I think these are the biggest ones. But you'll see he has like... Xavier Roberts on his foot. These were made in the 80s. Um, were they made by Coleco? I, f I don't know. Let's see what it says on their tag. These were actually made... It just says like the original Appalachian artwork. Um, it says crafted in China, but it doesn't say a company. So I'm not sure. If you know the company for fur skins, let me know. But this is this big guy, and these were both from my like Toys from the Attic video. Um, so they're so cute. This one is a girl. I think this was originally Hattie, and that's why I put this floppy hat back on her. But she just has some pink pants. <laughs> And a little um, shirt that says radiate kindness but I kind of like them in kids clothes they seem really cozy that way but I love them and then I have some little fur skins so I have all of not all of I wish I had all of um, and they were made in 1986 um, I can't remember what they're called but they look like little jars of food so this one's honey And you see like Honey Drop is her name and she has like a little bib and a little bonnet. Um, she has these really pretty painted eyes and they're called, oh it's actually on the tag, they're called Hide and Seek Fur Skins. So they're kind of like a popple where you can roll them back up and they're kind of hiding. I think it would be cute if you had all of these to do like a little cabinet photo with all your different little jars of fur skin food but they're so little like almost like a little bit bigger than my hand so I have honey honey drop I have the caramel or caramel whichever one you say um there's this one can you see it And then he also rolls back up. We have this one who is Jamboree. And it says the Xavier Roberts on their little foot just like the other ones. But they're really, really cute. I love these so much. And they also have those sculpted faces. That's my favorite part of the Cabbage Patch type plush is that the faces are, a lot of them are sculpted like this and I love the style of it. Now we're down to the final thing and these are probably the, these were mid-range mid so these are from the 90s and they were done by Hasbro um, when Hasbro had the rights to Cabbage Patch Kids so it was like um, 
Coleco had them in the 80s. Hasbro had them in the 90s. Um, Mattel took over for a little bit in the late 90s, early 2000s. And then from there, they were taken over by TRU, which is Toys R Us. And then after Toys R Us, they were taken over by Play Along and then eventually Jack Specific. Um, I don't know who has the rights to them now. Um, Hasbro did a lot of crimp and curl. So this is the crimp and curl little kitty. And you see how it kind of mimics that kind of face that was the plush face, but it's actually like a soft vinyl. Um, and she, you can get these in all different colors. I always look for the pink ones because I think the pink ones are really cute. Um, yeah, and these are just called crimp and curl pets. So I have the cat, I have a pink cat, and I have a brown dog. So here's his little ears. And those are the final toys in my Cabbage Patch plushie collection. Um, yeah, it's not a big collection, but I do love it. And I can't wait to like just slowly add to it. Um, I'm not always in the biggest rush to make my collections big. Sometimes I like them being small. Lila, you're perfect like you are, a sublime creation, good to play yourself small. Such a waste, such a waste of your beauty, girl. Lila, the key to it is you, turn it, when you feel it's true. Never look back and let your light shine without holding it in. Love yourself and don't give in And when you feel the harmony Smile with the suns And let your light shine Without holding it in Love you Um, let me know what your favorite Cabbage Patch plush is Let me know what your favorite Cabbage Patch era was And I will see you in the next one Stay whimsical Bye guys mm -hmm.